So all this excerpt uh, we are supposed to translate is called uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark by Sidney Sheldon? And the extract is going to be translated now uh, into English, from Russian into English. Good. Um, I turn on screen sharing options so that you can see. So as you can see, uh, so that you can see everything what's going on here. So Are You Afraid of the Dark? Page 28. So when the car stopped at Diana's house, uh, the latter, uh, Charlie answered, Charlie asked Kelly, uh, won't you drop by? Uh, I'm still a little uncomfortable. There is such a feeling uh, as if it were just the beginning. Well, uh, imagine, it seems to me too, Kelly dropped, but I am out of this. Goodbye, Mr. Stevens. So Diane looked at Kelly, tried to say something, but she just shook her head and left, went out. On waiting until she entered the front door, uh, the Kelly, uh, uh, well, Kelly sighed in relief, sighed, sighed in relief, sighed in relief, sighed in relief. And now where, Mrs. Harris, Colin asked, Back to the hotel and then uh, out of the apartment uh, on the first floor, a panic scream could be heard. Kelly, on some hesitation, still jumped out of the car and rushed up to the house. Mm -hmm. So Diane, uh, Diane had turned out. Diane turned out to have left the the, the apartment door open wide. And now, pale, shivering, she stood in the middle of the room. What happened? Someone, uh, someone burgled in here. Someone broke in here. Well, uh, there was Richard's uh, briefcase on the table, and uh, it disappeared. Uh, there were his papers there, in there. Instead of the briefcase, uh, they left his wedding ring here. His wedding ring here. So Kelly nervously looked around. You'd better call for police. That's right. Kelly recalled the card that had been left by Greenberg on the table in the hallway. In the hall. On the running up to the phone, uh, on the running up to the telephone, its stationary phone landline, she hurriedly dialed the number. Detective Al Greenberg, please. There was a long pause. There was a short pause. There was a short pause. Uh, Greenberg speaking. Greenberg uh, had the phone. Well, Detective Greenberg, uh, Greenberg this is Diana Stevens. Uh, something very unpleasant has happened. Well, uh, could you come to my place? Thank you. She replaced the receiver and addressed Kelly. He's gonna come. If you don't mind waiting uh, until he, uh, I object. <clears throat> uh, this is a problem, and I don't wish to be related to the to it anyhow. But by the way, I advise you to mention that you were tried to be killed. You were attempted to be killed, and uh, I'm taking a flight to Paris. I'm taking a flight to Paris. Well, once again, goodbye, Mr. Stevens. On exiting, uh, well, we can say on coming outside, on walking outside, she headed for the limousine. Where? Colin asks. Hotel, please. To the hotel, please. Where she would be safe. Chapter 20, 21. On coming back to the hotel, uh, Kelly couldn't settle down for a long time. At the very thought uh, of how close she had been to dying, she was shivering. Well, the last thing I wanted is to be killed uh, because of some empty-headed blonde. Finally, she rushed onto the sofa, onto the couch, and closed her eyes. Well, one can't exhaust uh, oneself like that. Well, and she tried to meditate, to concentrate on reading a mantra. Well, everything was useful. 
too great the too too great the shake had been too great the shake had been and inside of her uh some second emptiness had settled had solidly settled had firmly settled mark i'm missing you so much uh they say time heals everything but it's not true honey with every new day i feel worse and worse i feel even worse oh, uh the squeak of the wheels uh, of the service cart behind the door suddenly reminded kelly or resembled kelly that she hadn't uh, reminded kelly that she hadn't uh, eaten anything all day long and though she was not hungry, she still understood. She still could understand that she had to maintain some power. That's why she called room service and asked to bring uh, shrimp salad and tea. The operator promised to fulfill the order in 25 or 30 minutes. I'll be waiting, Kelly answered. She replaced the receiver and said, and said again, uh, resurrecting in her memory the details of talking to Tanner Kinsley. Uh, it seemed to her that somebody's merciless hand uh, had tossed her into the icy ocean uh, of uh, endless nightmare. What was happening? Why had Mark never mentioned some Olga? Any business acquaintance? An intrigue? Mark, dear, I want you to know, and uh, even if you changed for me, I, I forgive you because I love you, so, and I, I always will. You taught me love. I was cold and frozen, and you warmed me up. You returned me some pride, and made me feel a woman. She suddenly remembered Dan, or she suddenly recalled Dan. That imposing person, uh, that imposing lady, had had nearly killed me. It's her direct speech. Well, uh, he has to be kept out of. Well, well, I have to keep out of her. Uh, I kept have to keep uh, have to keep out of her, keep away from her. Well, uh, however, it's not difficult. Uh, even tomorrow, I'll be in Paris with Angel. Angel is her dog. Well, uh, some coach who was knocking on the door uh, brought her out of her reflections. Room service, I'm coming. Kelly was about to open the door, but without knowing why herself, uh, suddenly stopped. Oh, hesitated, hesitated. Well, the order had been made just a few minutes before. And she was promised to be. Uh, she was promised to deliver a salad, her salad, uh, in half an hour. Too soon. A minute. She shouted. Yes, ma'am. Kelly hurriedly snatched the receiver and dialed the number. Well, room service. My order is not fulfilled yet. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Harris. Uh, we've been out of time. We are out of time. Uh, would you be so kind, or might you be so kind as to wait uh, 15 or 20 minutes or so? Uh, Kelly replaced the receiver and with her pounding heart called the receptionist. Well, some man is trying to break into my room. I will immediately send a guard, Mrs. Harris. And even if uh, already in two minutes, another knocking at the door could be heard. And Kelly cautiously crawled up to the door. Who's that? <laughs> well, walked up to the door. Who's that? The guard. <laughs> Kelly looked at the watch. Too soon. Too early. She hurried up to the phone and uh, got in touch with the receptionist again. Well, I called the regarding the guard. I called about the guard. So what? Uh, the guard is already walking upstairs, Mrs. Harris. Uh, he'll be right there. What's his name? She pressed hoarsely 
dying from fear. Thomas. Hmm. Somebody was whispering in the hallway. Kelly leaned uh, her ear up to the door and stood this way until the voices faded out. Well, she had never in her life been so scared. The door was knocked again. Who's the, Who's out there? Who is it? The guard. Uh, Bill? Kelly asked, uh, holding her breath. No, Mrs. Harris. Thomas. <clears throat> Kelly hurriedly opened the door wide and let the guard in. Let the guard inside. Okay. Uh, what's happened, Miss Harris? Well, some people wanted to break into my room. Uh, did you see them? No, I could hear them. Uh, won't you escort me up to the taxi? Of course, Mrs. Harris. And Kelly was talking herself into staying, into remaining calm. But too much had happened for such a short period of time. Period of time. So Thomas uh, wouldn't step off Kelly. And they walked uh, downstairs to the lobby, and Kelly looked around but didn't notice anything suspicious. They walked out to the street and headed for the for the cab lot, for the taxi lot. Uh, thank you so much. You have helped me a lot, Kelly. Thanks. Well, uh, I will. I will see to it uh, that uh, when you come back, everything is all right. Uh, the ones uh, who tried to break the door are sure to have gone, are sure to have left. So just like this, uh, Kelly got into a taxi and uh, on, turning, uh, on turning back, noticed uh, two strangers, two strange men hurrying to the parked limousine. Uh, where? The driver said. Uh, the driver asked a limousine was already was already starting off o o a o double f off at the corner there was a road policeman well uh, drive ahead kelly kelly ordered okay uh, at the street light well we can say at the traffic light the traffic light flashed green don't be in a hurry Kelly said decisively, wait until it's yellow and quickly turn left. So the driver looked at her in the mirror, in the rearview mirror. A oh, what? So, uh, what? Don't be in a hurry to turn, uh, to go on the green light uh, until it's it changes into yellow. She started, but on seeing the driver's face in the mirror, uh, has, uh, hesitated and expressed a smile. Uh, you see, I'm trying to win a bet. Oh, ah, so, <laughs> oh, bloody psychotic are these passengers, everybody and everyone. Well, <clears throat> once the traffic light blinked yellow, uh, as Kelly exclaimed, now, the taxi abruptly turned left right at the moment uh, when the light had turned red, and uh, the road policeman stopped uh, the cars, uh, stopped the car driving uh, behind, and the passengers of the limousine <laughs> desperately exchanged looks. Well, at the end of the block, Kelly suddenly announced, oh, I completely forgot, stop here, please, I have to get out. Hmm. Well, the driver uh, pulled up to the curb, and Kelly jumped out to the sidewalk, and the tucked he tucked a huge banknote into, a big banknote into his hands. Well, and we can say, and shoved uh, a big banknote into his hands. Well, handed him a big banknote. Oh, uh, here you are. Uh, sorry for bothering. Well, on noticing that she hurried up, uh, she hurried up to the doors of the medical center, uh, the driver shrugged and grunted <laughs> the right time. It's high time she healed her head. <laughs> Once uh, the green light flashed, the limousine also turned left. The cab was already two blocks away, and the followers, the, the pursuers, uh, rushed after it. So Kelly waited until they, are, until they were gone, 
by and stopped another taxi, hailed another taxi. And at that time, Grimrick and Diane were uh, conducting an uneasy conversation. The detective, uh, frankly, was trying to find out what had happened, but Diane couldn't answer any of the questions. So, Miss Stevens, uh, didn't you see what, uh, didn't see the one who, shoot, who shot you, who shot at you? No, uh, I was out of time. Everything happened so fast. Everything happened so soon, so fast. Uh, an unpleasant story. You were rarely attempted to be killed. Uh, well, ballistics, uh, we can say, we can say ex extracted uh, but, uh, the bullets. Uh, caliber 45, caliber 45. These uh, these ones are able to uh, are able to shoot even through the uh, life to the life vest. <clears throat> you were lucky. And he took a deep sigh and hesitated, but still confessed. We consider the we consider the assassin uh, to have been sent by Tony Altieri. Uh, Diane closed her eyes slightly, slightly closed her eyes, slightly shut her eyes. Uh, oh, you can see, uh, I will have some rest and maybe, uh, no, 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 it's, she remembered uh, something that had been happening in the Hall of uh, Justice. Well, I will have some rest and maybe return some old debts, just like that. Okay, <laughs> this has been the extract. The end of the record. Thank you.